This is John Paul Rice. Some people call me. Quick shout out to John Matrix because I check his channel once in a while, doing great, and I saw this on his channel and I watched his video and I said this I have to talk about. It's about Terminator 6 and how Arnold's character is going to be kind of this, I don't know how to describe it, kind of like this um, house husband kind of thing. He actually has changed diapers and they have to go as far as to say he changed diapers without complaining. So real quick, I am not going to see T6 in the theaters, but if you guys have been in this channel, you know I got a guy, Crazy Crab, here. He does videos he's going to be reviewing it on this channel. And the reason is I want to have the review up, but I'm not going to see it. Let's get into the article. Here it is. So the article is called Terminator the Dark Fate Arnold Talks Draperies, What Women Want, Linda's Return, and If He'll Be Back. Sounds badass to me, doesn't it? So I'm going to skip down just a little bit to this one part that really got me. Arnold then went on to divulge a little of his character's backstory, home, and love life. What? Love life? For a Terminator? As Carl, Arnold is a completely domesticated man with a wife and a son that he helped raise from the get-go, including changing diapers without complaining. <laughs> without complaining. Referring to a line in the movie about being a hands-on dad and husband, the former bodybuilder, now 72 years old, said, It was really a great line because he was addressing exactly what most women really like. I'm confused. I thought for a second they meant Arnold Schwarzenegger was like a good father and changed diapers without complaining. Wait a minute. They mean Carl, his character, the Terminator, actually changed diapers as part of his history? Yeah, his name's Carl. That sounds really weird to me. And the thing is, the not complaining part is really what gets me. Why would they put that in? Okay, I guess Defenders will be like, well, he's a robot. He's a robot. Robots don't complain. Okay, either it's like some kind of weird joke, or they wanted to put that in the forefront that Arnold, I mean Carl, the T-800, changed diapers without complaining. I don't know, guys. I'm a little skeptical about this movie. It's like, did they make good characters or are they showcasing women and is it a feminist movie i i just don't know and these days you can't tell now mackenzie i will say this the girl that plays the terminator the new one i think she makes a pretty good terminator i have no problem with her i think she's great sarah connor awesome classic but danny i don't see why she's taking john's part and i'm very skeptical to see what happens with John. I think they're gonna nix him real quick and she'll be the new hero and John's gone. I hope I'm wrong. I hope that John comes back as some surprise or at least as something important before he goes, but I have a feeling he's gonna be insulted like Luke Skywalker was insulted and like Han Solo was insulted. We'll see. That's my hunch. Arnold elaborated with this. It's a good characteristic to be a listener, not a talker. So it's something you have to learn and to understand women <laughs> and all that stuff. So Carl was saying, this is why she, Carl's wife, is with him because he causes no trouble. No toxic masculinity for the Terminator. And he has learned how to be a good partner even though they didn't have a physical relationship. Well, of course not. As it was made clear when Linda pointed out that I weighed 400 pounds of metal and I would be a little too heavy for most women in any case. Ha ha. Okay, nothing against Arnold. I mean, he's just, you know, doing the interview, trying to give a couple of laughs or whatever. Goes on to say, I was absolutely amazed with the kind of shape she got into, how disciplined she was, and how she was able to pull off being the badass woman. For a woman of her age, I thought it was mind-blowing. And yeah, absolutely. I'm sure Linda Hamilton did an awesome job. I'm sure Sarah Connor's great. I'm just skeptical about these new characters and hearing this news about Arnold changing diapers, being a good husband, listening. Is that really the publicity we want for a Terminator movie rated R? I know, maybe I'm going too far, I'm being too hard on these things, but like I said, we don't have a good track record here with movies these days and how they treat the relationships of men and women. So I'm skeptical. 
Like I said, Crazy Crab will be reviewing it here. I'm looking forward to it. I'll be hearing it, and then you guys will be hearing it like a couple hours after I hear it. So I'd love to see what he says, and I'm happy I could bring you guys a review on this channel without having to see every movie because I'm stuck on the house anyway, and that's a different story. Anyway, doing shoutouts, special thanks, things like that. If you haven't, click the subscribe button, press it, and just for the record, I've been having sound problems in this channel, so I got a new mic, and it's pretty good. See you next time. If you are not subscribed to this channel, The Entertainment Hacker, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button now.